This week on Uganda All-Stars Creative 101, we speak to Joel Balimanya, a creative director and founder of Zula Ads, a creative company in Kampala, dealing in car tire products. Joel, a graduate of Chambogo University in Kampala, Uganda, breaks down how it all fell in place. Um, I'm called Joel Balimanya. Yes. Um, my brand is Zula Art, which means discovering art in everything. Yeah. Yeah, what pushed me to, to, to do what I do right now, I basically deal in car tire. Yeah. Recycled car tire. Yeah. Um, one day I, I was teaching in a primary school. Yes. So as, as I was leaving the gate, I, I picked a rubber. Yes. When I picked that rubber, I, I was moving out with my friend. So yeah. I told him that, you know what? One day I could place something from this rubber. And he was like, this time you don't have us. That's a lie. You can't do anything with a rubber. Yeah. So I kept it at home for like a week. Then yeah. after that week, I created a simple bracelet. Then I. I happened to sell that bracelet to someone and I sold it to an art, a fellow artist. Yeah. So from that time I was like, I think I can continue developing ideas from, from this, this car tire. So yeah. that's where I am. I've created quite, quite a number of products from car tire. And I'm still creating because I want to exploit the car tire. All right. And uh, talk, talk to us about like, uh, your educational background. How did you get uh, what you have right now, like the creativity in art and everything? Yeah. I, I did. A diploma in ceramics yeah. at Chambog University. Yeah. But as I was doing that diploma, I would always make sure that I go to the art departments because I really, my passion was more into art, not just playing around with clay and molding. Basically, I wanted real art. So that's why I got many connections from the art department. Yeah. And from there, I began developing. So yeah. I'm not doing ceramics right now because it, it wasn't really my passion. My passion was real, real art. Okay. How, how long has it been uh, you doing all this you're doing right now? Um, I think it's from something like 2012. That's when I began the car tire. Okay. And uh, challenges. Of course, everybody will be asking, like, uh, a Chambogo graduate opting out to do what he's doing right now. Challenges. Challenges. Um, I think Ugandans have not been so much into art over the past years. Yeah. But, of course, right now they are picking up. The only challenge is that like people buying buying a product made out of car tire yeah back in the day it was really a cheap material yeah so right now it's really hard to convince someone that you can put on car tire in office you can put on car tire in a festival it, it has been a challenge but good enough now i'm beginning to pick up this is a song i've been hearing <laughs> from many people in uganda yeah. bandos any challenges of using the internet as your marketing tool to market your business yeah yeah, bandos is a challenge. If it was just writing text, it's, it would be easy, but you know you have to post, you have to post videos. So it's really a challenge that we use a lot of bundles to, 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 to make sure that people understand what you're really selling. Mm. If you take quality pictures, they consume a lot of bundles. Mm. Yeah. Most of the people who come in to buy stuff from your shop, yeah. uh, how, how are they like, where are they from, are they Ugandan? What part of Uganda, if not Uganda and East Africa, or is it continental or, you know, international? Back in the day when I had just begun, I, I used to target the international market. Mm. But then I realized that if, if something happens and those guys can't come to my country, what would I do? Mm. So I decided to venture into products that even the local people can buy. Mm. So basically right now, most of my clients are local people and it's mostly the upper class. Mm. The upper class are really running for my products. Behind every successful man, there is somebody who drives what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. How is it for you? Um, yeah, yeah, that statement is really true. Mm. I have my fiance. Okay. I work together. Okay. She helps me in marketing, she helps me like do some of the products. Mm. And she's really a, a strong pillar mm. in my business, yeah. yeah. I'm called Tendo Paris. Tendo. Um, Chala, I am, um, uh, how I've been able to help my fiancé go forward yeah. to have Zula at shine. Yeah. Um, I think it's not me alone, possibly, mm. but it's the fear of God. Mm. Whenever I fear the Lord, it's the beginning of the wisdom. Mm. So I think I obtained the wisdom mm. from my God, mm. then to help push my fiancé go forward mm. to develop Zula mm. and yeah, to make it to a light. Okay. And you, you are a university student. Mm -hmm. uh, university is like one of the most biggest market like, uh, for consumers of like really stylish things like this. Any chance you've uh, happened to you know, take the stuff to school and you know, your fellow students 
purple shell brand? Exactly. Um, actually, I've, I've just uh, accomplished my university. Mm. I should be graduating 2016 January. But for those years, the previous years that I've been in campus, yeah. I've most actually I started with my friends. Yeah. And then when 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 my friends started to wear them, mm. as me too, I also used to wear them. Yeah. We used to brand the name. Yeah. Everyone who could see us at the college mm. could come to us mm. and then give them directions. Because at times I would tell them it's us who make them. Yeah. They would really be surprised, and of course, I've done a greater market for Zula Art. All right. Yeah. Any anything you want to tell like university girls mm. who still believe like uh, you need to be employed to make a living on this on this planet? Oh no, I think that's that's not a right way to go. I think every university student or university girl, most especially girls, mm. um, I could I could encourage them if if they are at university and they have gotten some little money to push up something it's better they go that way push up something if you have a creativity you have a knowledge that is innovative if you can start up a boutique start a boutique if you you're gifted as an artist start that, start with the little as the little that you have just as balimanya joel has stated he started with a little he had yeah. Then I came I came as a second partner to push him. So if a university student, you've gotten someone who loves you, has a business, start with that person. Push that person to excellency. Because if he attains excellency, you have it all too. And it's all credited to the Lord, right? Exactly. 